Hello everyone, this is my project presentation for EEL 6825 on the topic A Comparative Study of Feature Detection and Matching Algorithms. I'm going to present the following topics, Introduction, Methods, Image Transformations, Image Transformations Algorithm, the metrics evaluated, the evaluation of these different algorithms, the demonstration of my project, simulation results, a comparative analysis, conclusion, and contribution. Extracting features from an image involves seeking good features to track, which are informative, distinguishing, and independent features. These features are good only if they are invariant to the input. The input could be variations in scale, it could be a brightened input or a dark input, it could be a rotated image, it could be a blurred image. Feature detection and image matching in a real-time scenario is a very challenging problem, particularly in context of the variations in the input. Image matching finds its use in a diverse range of applications, such as image alignment, object recognition, motion tracking, medical diagnosis, and 3D reconstruction, to name a few. The aim of this project is to summarize the performance of nine robust feature detection and image matching algorithms. The different methods that have been compared and evaluated are the following. Scale Invariant Feature Transform, SIFT, Speeded Up Robust Features, SURF, Features from Accelerated Segment Test, FAST, Binary Robust Independent Elementary Features, BRIEF, FAST Retina Keypoint Freak, Oriented FAST and Rotated BRIEF, a fusion of both FAST and BRIEF known as ORB. To evaluate these algorithms, instead of using a data set, a pre-existing data set, I create my own data set by applying the image transformations on a standard test image of LENA. The different transformations are brightness variation, Gaussian blurring, rotation variance, and scale variation. The algorithm used for image transformations is discussed here. For brightness variation, we add a scalar to all the pixel values of source image and we get the resultant image. For rotation, we find the center point of the original image, obtain the rotation matrix and apply the affine transformation on the source using the rotation matrix. For scaling variation, we use the minimum scale, the maximum scale and scale the rows and the columns of the original image. We resize the original image using the new scaled rows and columns and obtain the scaled resultant image. To obtain the Gaussian blurring, we initialize the kernel size from the function call, ranging from 1 to 9. We apply the Gaussian blur function to the source image to obtain the resultant image. The metrics used to evaluate these, the performance of these algorithms are as follows. The correct matches percentage, which is nothing but the number of matches upon the total key points detected. Random sam sampling consensus algorithm has been applied to find the outliers. Not all the matches which are obtained are correct. Some of them are definitely error prone and hence we use ransack to obtain the outliers. We prone and prune the matches obtained to get the best fit curve for the inliers. Match percentage is the second metric, that is the number of matches upon key points detected. Key nearest neighbors methods have been used to compute the mean distance. Suppose you achieve W1 key points in one image and W2 key points in another image. As you can see here, we measure the K nearest neighbors of one particular centered key point in one image to see how accurate the matches are. Homography error gives a very crucial metric. The reprojection error locks the error corresponding to the distance between the projected point and the measured point. This error is reflected in the metric homography error. It quantifies how close an estimate was. The next metrics introduced is repeatability. It is the ratio test which was performed to evaluate not only the k-nearest neighbors but also the second closest match. To come up with the overall performance of these algorithms, 
It is important to see how time consuming they are pertaining to the real world applications. So our last metric for performance is average time consumed per frame and average time consumed per key point. Now, how do we implement these metrics? This is the algorithm used for evaluation. We first compute the matches distance statistics. If no matches are found, then there is no match distance. Otherwise, we compute the standard mean deviation for all the distances. The repeatability test involves the first k nearest neighbors are considered as best matches. The second k nearest neighbors are considered as good distance. Ratio of the two distances is calculated depending on the greater distance. If a ratio better than, than the maximum ratio is found, a good match is recorded. Percentage matches can be computed by calculating the ratio of total matches and the minimum of either the source key point or the destination key point. The correct percentage matches, as discussed above, is calculated using the RANSAC algorithm because RANSAC rejects the low contrast matches. The performance estimation changes are applied to the grayscale where performing the matching of the features. We perform the ratio test, which is none other than the repeatability test. Then we find the homography. We compute the time consumed. We compute the time consumed and compute the percentage of matches. We compute the matching statistics then. Now I'll show a demonstration of my project. It is currently testing the ORB algorithm, as you can see. And as we keep going in the algorithm, I keep displaying the homography actual, the homography expected, and the error. These are the variations in the rotation, as you can see. So it has it covers a range of 0 to 360 degrees. And these are the matches found by the first algorithm. This is the scale variations, which you can see. This is the brightness variation. It is now testing freak. The four image transformations, the scale variation, the brightness variation, the blurring of the images, and the rotation is ran on each algorithm. Currently, we are testing surf, and as you can see on the command line, to keep a check, I compute the homography actual homography error and the homography under relational error. Now I'm testing the SIFT algorithm. Some of these take a lot of time, especially the initial algorithms in the timeline. As you can say, the time taken by each algorithm is not similar. The image is rotated from 0 to 360 degrees. And as we can see, these matches, these features are detected, these key points are detected in different images, and matches are found across the features. Some of these algorithms have really low matches found whereas some of these algorithms have really huge amount of matches like this one and each algorithm performs differently for different variations is the variation in scale and now there is even combined variations where you see the variation in scale as well as the variation in the intensity we are testing now fast and surf
We are currently testing ORB and Freak. This is the Gaussian blur. And then we see is the rotation variation. Very few matches are observed during the scale variation. This is the variation in the brightness. And as you can see, the time consumed is different for different algorithms. Some algorithms take a lot of time. So these are the final results which we obtained where we tested fast and brief. We tested fast and sift, fast and surf, freak, ORB, ORB and freak, sift with brute force matching and surf with brute force matching. Now I'll discuss the simulation results which we just saw. The first metric evaluated is the match percentage. As you can see, as the brightness is varied from a range of minus 150 to 150, pro fast and brief perform uh, give a very consistent performance, whereas ORB has the lowest and the worst performance. As the kernel size is varied and the images are introduced with different sizes of Gaussian blurs, we see that fast and SIF maintain a consistent performance, whereas all the other algorithms either have a lower performance or have a very inconsistent performance like the ORB or the fast and brief. The number of match person, the match percentage is consistently good for SIFT over here. SIFT is very good when it comes to rotation because it is scale invariant and it can be clearly seen here. This is very expected to see. What we see as we vary the scale is also the same that SIFT has a consistent performance as compared to certain algorithms which have a good performance like fast and brief, but then it decreases and it goes really bad. Looking at the correct match percentage, with the change in brightness, degree, uh, rotation, scale, and Gaussian blur, we see that uh, over here, rotation sift wins. Over here, sift and freak are mostly similar. And over here, it's basically freak. Almost all the algorithms have a good performance when it comes to brightness. As we can see here, the match percentage is almost 100 percentage, the correct match percentage in the range of minus 50 to 50. That's mostly because most of the algor all the algorithms have been normalized. So introducing a change in the brightness to a certain extent of this delta does not have much effect. The mean distance, which should be ideally lowest, is obtained to be lowest when the shift in the brightness is less in most of the algorithms. The mean distance has a very low and a consistent performance in surf as the Gaussian blur is introduced. Fast and sift performs really bad when it comes to scale variation, the fast detector and the sift descriptor. The repeatability, which is a very important metric, it is observed that fast and brief have a very good repeatability measure with brightness variation of images. And they have a similar performance here, but they perform really poor in certain situations. Freak also has a very good result. With rotation variance, we have always seen that Freak and Sift have, have a consistent and the topmost performance, whereas the, bl the light blue one, that's I think the ORB, has a very low performance. SIFT always rules when it comes to scale variation. A very haphazard and complex views can be results have been obtained for the homography error. The overall performance is measured in time. And as we see, we measure the average time per frame and the average time per key point. 
fast and SIF takes the maximum average time per keyframe. Whereas ORB in Freak and ORB alone takes the minimum time. And not to forget, fast and brief have the most better performance among all of them, which is so low in time in the terms of time that it is not even covered in the graph. When it comes to the average time per key point, ORB again fast and brief have the lowest time, but after that the second lowest performance is of ORB and ORB and freak. However, fast and sift and sift take a large amount of time per key point. Conclusion We conclude that surf and sift perform with good amount of stability while scale variance. During variation in brightness, mostly all the descriptors show considerable performances primarily due to normalization. Sift outperforms every algorithm when the images are rotated. Freak and sift perform neck to neck for scale and rotation variance. Fast and SIFT is observed to take the most time, whereas SIFT is seen to consume the maximum time per key point. In the end, it is observed that different algorithms have different performances depending on different situations. So in the end, it is concluded that it completely depends on the application that we are aiming for. To sum up with the whole project, what was the contribution of the project? A comparative study of nine different algorithms, detector and descriptor combinations was performed. An intensive evaluation on five different metrics was performed. Performance measure of all nine combinations as a function of time. This analysis leads to the future scope of what changes could be made in each algorithm to make it better. Thank you.